Today we're just going to focus on the interior and exterior angles of a circle and these angles are not central or inscribed angles. Okay. So for the interior angles, it states to the right that if MR and NQ intersect at P, we do have a pair of congruent vertical angles, yes, but that I can find the measure of one of those angles by taking half the sum of the measure of arc MN as this vertical angle intercepts that arc, and then the other vertical angle, angle intercepts arc QR. So I can find the measure of one of those interior angles by taking half the sum of those two arcs. And there's a little trick that our, um, one of our math teachers uses in that this almost looks like a plus sign. So to find the measure of an interior angle, I can remember that I have to take half the sum of the two arcs. So in question number one, it says, what is the value of x? x, this angle here, intercepts this arc and is congruent to this angle here, which intercepts that arc. And using the theorem, x is equal to one half the sum of those two arcs, so 65 plus 37. So one half of 102 gives us an angle measure of 51 degrees. Pretty easy. Number two, the measure of arc AB is 73 degrees, and the measure of angle ECD is 67 degrees. What is the measure of DE? Now DE is the arc intercepted by this angle, and then the vertical angle again intercepts arc AB. So I know that the angle is equal to half the sum of the arcs, so I still want to use that theorem. The angle is equal to half the sum of the arcs. So the angle of 67 degrees is equal to one half the sum of x and 73. Double both sides. It's going to get rid of half, get rid of the one half. 2 times 67 is 134 is now equal to x plus 73. Subtract the 73 and x equals 61. So the measure of arc DE is equal to 61 degrees. Alright, now, now on to an exterior angle. So the exterior angle, I have three different visuals. So if I'm looking at the exterior angle MPN, this angle here, if I extend along that intercepts these two arcs, which make up the full circle. Looking at this, now that's with two tangents. Okay. Now I have a tangent and a secant. That angle P intercepts these two arcs. So you have to pay close attention to um, the arcs that are intercepted by either, again, here's two tangents. Here's two, oh, this is actually a tangent and a secant. And then down here is two secants. So when I look at angle P, that intercepts these two arcs. So whenever I'm trying to find an exterior angle, so the angle is outside of the circle versus inside, we have to subtract. So it's half the difference of the two arcs, not half the sum. So with question number three on the back, find the value of x. If you have a highlighter, you can trace or just darken with your pen or pencil. That angle intercepts these two arcs and is half of their difference. 75 minus 29. So one half, 75 minus 29 is 46 and half of 46 is 23 degrees. Number four, find the value of x. Now it only gives me one of the arcs that's intercepted by this angle. 
the other arc that's intercepted goes from here to here. And if I know there's a total of 360 degrees in the arcs of a circle, subtract the arc that's given, I know the other arc must be 128 degrees. Now I can take half the difference. So x is equal to one half the difference of 232 and 128. That difference is 104, so x is equal to 52 degrees. Last one, number five. Find the value of x, and this time x is the arc. That is one of the arc, or arcs that's intercepted by that angle. So again, I just state the theorem out loud, which is the angle is equal to half the difference of the two arcs, larger minus the smaller. And to get rid of the one half, we can double both sides. Double 41, you get 82. And when I double this whole side, that gets rid of the one half, and that's equivalent to 112 minus x. Subtract the 112, we get negative 30. Divide by negative 1, and x is 30 degrees. So just to recap before we go for today, when the angle's outside, go back to the front. When we have an exterior angle, it's half the difference of the two arcs. And when I have an interior angle, it's half the sum. And it's always the angle is half the sum of the two arcs, or the angle is half the difference of the two arcs. So when you're given an angle, say the theorem out loud and that'll help you find the arc.